All right, so 12 inch cradled wood brown from Lowly Veffy. Uh, there's a 10% discount code for Lowly Veffy in the description box. Color to go um, for our pillow in it automatically comes in a satin finish and the colors Amalfi, whatever that means. And I don't know what colors I'm gonna use yet, so let's see. I'm gonna try to use up some old paint, so that's gonna be part of part of what I do. Um, and some other random stuff that pops in my head. So I have about 18,000 colors over here. And we're gonna do a negative space swipe. So. Um, I need to mix up more of this, but this is Blue Black from Atelier. It's one of my favorite colors of all the times. I'm going to put a little bit down here. <clears throat> and I'll probably put a little, I'm also going to use this color as a cell activator. <clears throat> so, um, this is sky blue light from Amsterdam. It's been mixed up a long time. It's very thick and I didn't thin it down because it already has bubbles from being stirred and I really don't want to deal with more bubbles. So I'm just going to kind of use it sparingly since we have a dark base we can kind of afford to include it. Okay. <clears throat> Next up is Willow Blue from Color Art. Um, this one's been mixed up a long time, so it's kind of thick, but it's also, a, it was mixed in a base that was a little too glossy. So in some other pores, when my base has been too glossy, sometimes it doesn't dry right. So I wanna use it up, and I just introduced 8,000 bubbles. It's beautiful, Willow. Don't forget, uh, there's a 20% off yes, coupon code for color art in the description box below. And depending on when you see this video, there is a summer sale um, that I believe goes through July 21st or 22nd, don't quote me, but you can use my coupon code and it will save you 25% <clears throat> instead of 20% for a brief window. And there's something super cool on the Color Art website. Um, so every day, Eddie the Emu is put on the website in a different place. And if you find Eddie and you add him to your cart, you automatically get a discount on anything in your cart. And you can still use the coupon code on top of it. I think it's $25 off your cart and there's a brand new set of primary elements out, um, which I'll preview as soon as I get them. So that's a lot of fun. So uh, a, a hint for you <clears throat> is that he will be found probably most often in the master library. Um, if you haven't seen that, you can go to the master library and get anything, <clears throat> any previous primary elements that you want, you can get from the master library uh, which is really cool because if they're not current sets, you normally couldn't get them if they weren't in the regular menu. And now you can, so woohoo. So that's really fun. Um, but yeah, 25 bucks off just for finding Eddie and he's, he's a cute little emu, so. This is Midnight Shadow. This is a prism pour color from Color Art. I love it. I've just had it mixed up a long time, so um, I wanna use it up in some pours and mix up a fresh, a fresh batch. I was going to say fresh. Fresh batch. I'm going to try not to use too many colors because I always do that. So, so we have a few. I'm going to put an interference green down because I'm using all these older colors. I have all these stupid bubbles, but I thought this would be such a pretty negative space swipe. Something here in my paint, in my potential negative space. Um, so interference green from Color Art. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit on. Just need to stir it a little bit. I'm gonna swipe. What in the heck? I'm gonna swipe with my 
palette, my square palette knife, using the blue black cell activator and probably an interference violet <clears throat> cell activator. And so let's see. I'm just gonna voice over this whole thing, but I've been doing a lot of voiceovers lately, so interference ah, interference green. Love it. I love interference everything, but interference green always looks so great with blues and violets. And so, I mean, they all look great with everything, right? Let's face it. Interference colors are awesome. Okay, now I can't decide if I want to do, I don't want to do too many more colors. I have a little bit of bluegrass here. Bluegrass is one of the colors you can find in the color library. Um, you could, may even be able to find it on the regular primary elements page, but I love it. Um, it's still a fairly new to me color. I've only had it a couple months. It's not necessarily a newly released color, but it is so cool. Look at that. So beautiful. Look at all those stupid bubbles I just introduced. So beautiful. Okay. So don't forget to check out the discount codes in the description box below. Um, for my cell activator, I always use um, Australian Floetrol, which I get from Pixel Paint Designs. And I have a um, 10% off coupon for you in the description box below. I also buy my global paints and my boom gels from Pixel Paint Designs, which speaking of boom gel could go great in this one. Maybe I'll add a little bit. Okay, and this other color I've had mixed up a while. Here I go with too many colors, right? Tropical Splash, really like it. It's so pretty. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here. Ooh, it's very thick. Some of these are like just enough to be like a a puddle in a in a bloom, you know, like just enough to be too much for one painting, but not much for another. So I think I'll leave some of them out and use them maybe in a bloom next or something. I don't know. Not in this same video, but all right. Let me go get some boom gel. I might do a little little bit of boom gel. All right. So this guy here is Mally Ringneck Blue, one of my favorites. I probably need to get some more. I'm just going to put a little streak across the top. So boom gels, if you're not familiar with them, they're like, they're like the perfect consistency for blooms right out of the bottle. And um, boom gels don't seem to enter. I mean, they, they interact with other colors, but they don't mix quite as much as a regular acrylic paint does. Um, so they're really fun for um, using in blooms when you're like wanting to take some risks and maybe put color where you are not as comfortable normally, which um, they also react, they cause a pretty nice cell reaction, which is <clears throat> one of the reason a lot of people use them. Um, my only caution with boom gel is they can take over a little bit, so you wanna be careful to not use too much uh, right underneath your cell activator. For a swipe like this though, that it should be fine. So I'm going to use a blue-black cell activator using Atelier Interactive and <clears throat> I'm going to use a violet <clears throat> cell activator using Amsterdam Pearl Violet. So they've all been mixed with Australian Floetrol. Um, the Pearl Violet's a lot thinner. Uh, the Atelier Interactive is about a 4 to 1 ratio and the other is about a three to one. And then go ahead and spread this out. Be right back. Okay, so like a goober, I don't know if I have enough cell activator to do the other side. So 
I may go straight across instead of in the middle like I like to do. <clears throat> so this is kind of what it looks like. I was tempted to add some cobalt teal um, kind of drizzled on there, but I don't think I will. So um, I have hardly enough cell activator to do the other side. I guess if I don't have enough, I can just make more. So let's see. So it's kind of thick. I kind of got a little broad there, but let's see if I have enough for the other side. I don't really want to have to make more cell activator, <clears throat> but sometimes, I mean, I'm going to have to make more eventually, right? But, but sometimes if you don't get decent enough coverage with your cell activator on your palette knife, um, you might move the paint more than you're really wanting to. So you don't want too much, but you also like don't want it to be too spare, bare. I don't know, I'm tired. So let's try the other side. It's gonna take a little bit to develop, so right now it looks kind of whatever, but. Um, try and give it a little push. I almost did something super dumb. <clears throat> I almost didn't clean my palette knife of all the paint before I put more cell activator on there. That would have been, like I said, super dumb. Doesn't mean I wouldn't have done it, but would not have been ideal. All right, so after this, I'm gonna have to make more cell activator. I definitely don't have much, so I'm gonna have to spread it out a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap. I just dropped a whole bunch of it on my puppy pad. What a goober. All right, little jerk. Okay. See, it's pretty, um, it's pretty thin, but I might have just enough to do this other side. Um, buffer it with the Amsterdam, the pearl, just in case, just so I can move it around a little easier. So there's that. All right. All right, so. Oh crap. I did not do a good job on that swipe and I picked up all the paint. So I'm going to do something weird to try to offset what I did. I had a really heavy hand just then. That did not go well. See how I picked up all that paint right there? Maybe you can't see that. But man, like we need negative space in this swipe. That's why we're using this color. So see, I'm kind of used to a thicker pillow and a uh, color to go is a little bit thinner because it, well, depends on what color you get. but. These dark colors are made with ultra deep base, which is thinner. So I don't know how I'm gonna fix that, but, but basically when I scooped, I scooped down into the paint and a whole bunch of my paint that I had laid down got caught under my palette knife. So, you know, I've heard people say that they really struggle with swipes. Um, swipes are not easy. They're easier than blooms once you get your consistency down. Um, but it's not easy to move your knife across the paint and not drag it in the middle and not mess up your composition. So if you're like discouraged with your swipes, know that like it took me a long time before I got one right. And even though I get these right more than I get other things right, it's not a perfect science. Okay, so Now I'm just breaking the surface tension where we have a lot of cell activator not coming through. Obviously this other side is breaking through a little bit easier because I didn't have, well for one, I messed up the swipe, but for two, I didn't have as much of the blue black on my palette knife. So it might work in our favor because I didn't really mean to cover this much of the surface. So I'm 
So you guys need to let me know what you think. Do you enjoy the negative space swipes on the Sherwin-Williams backgrounds? Because I just got this color and another color, and I have a bunch from years ago that I didn't want to waste, so I just didn't use them. <laughs> but I thought that would be a nice way to incorporate them. Okay. So you have to let me know in the comments. So on this side, I'm breaking the surface tension, but to be honest, I don't really mind if we have kind of a dominant um, cell activator blue color over here because it'll balance out this other side. So while I'm kind of letting it develop, um, there's a couple of really obnoxious bubbles that I want to make sure I get before we spin it out and make it bigger. I love this color. Now this base color is going to dry darker, but I think it's a beautiful color. And using the, using the pearl cell activator is fun because you have this little bit of like violet lacing that just kind of adds to things. So let's embellish this a little bit with a skewer and see. <clears throat> What we can make of it. I'm gonna see if I can zoom you in just a little bit. That may not be great, but let's see. Hopefully it doesn't go out of focus madness. Okay, so so I'm gonna do that. Just basically kind of making the lines look a little more intentional and sort of like, oh crap, what did I do? Try to go this way instead, you know? So I hope everyone's doing well. I've been doing a lot of voiceovers because sometimes when I paint, I just don't have time to stop the camera and edit a bunch of stuff out. And I don't want every video to be super long, but my I personally, when I'm watching a YouTube artist, I love to hear their process. And so I, for one, don't mind when videos are a little longer if I get to hear um, kind of how things are going. I don't know if we have enough pillow paint. Um, well, I guess we can give it a spin and see. This does tend to spread out a little bit better than some. Kind of tempted to shift some of this over, but I really like what's on the end over here, so I don't really want to lose it. So I think some of this that's really pretty we're going to lose anyway. Um, so let's just Okay, let's see what it looks like if we spin it. <clears throat> like deep concentration. Every time I twist this thing a different direction, I see some stupid bubble I couldn't see before. All right, pretty, pretty. Getting paint in my paint cups. All right, there's a buttload of bubbles over here. So give me just a second, because we can't keep spinning and let those develop. But this is actually looking kind of cool if I don't overwork it. So let me get these bubbles. I'll be right back. All right, I popped some of those guys 
And even though I probably have enough paint to get this to the edge, I don't want to have to overstretch it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of paint here on the ends to help that go to the edge. And because overstretching it would make the cells kind of gross looking. So let's see. I'll give it another spin. I don't mind the composition. It's not perfect. It's kind of too round over here. Um, but it kind of looks like a twist tie. Like a, I don't know. It is a little too rounded edge over here. Let me see what I think about that if I take another look at it. So I probably still, oh, look at that paint bobby. I probably could still put some lines over here and make, make that a little less round. It kind of just got really big when I spun it out. Um, I don't know, I just don't want to overwork it. So, let me look at it. Okay, even though this is probably a bad idea, it's like I almost have to do something that makes it less like this. I don't mind that this is like this. I don't mind that this is like this. If you turn it sideways, the fact that this looks like a circle is not really bad. But um, if you don't, oh, they covered up these sides. If you don't, it definitely has some opportunity. Um, and you gotta tell me, because I always overdo, overwork things when I obsess about something small, you gotta tell me, is that something that would matter to you or not? The problem is we don't have a lot of pillow paint, so if I kind of do something to wreck it, just to make it look a little less circular, you know, just to make it kind of look like we maybe did this on purpose instead of completely by accident. Um, I don't have a lot of wiggle room where it wouldn't go right to the bottom of the board. Now, you know, the color, I could always add some color in a place and it's just that when you add something at this point, when it's already kind of spun all the way out, you really run the risk of it looking really stupid. So I added a little detail there, nothing crazy. Um, let's see, maybe a little detail, I gave up on my gloves, I know that's naughty, but just, I just need a little subtlety here, you know what I mean, like it doesn't need to be crazy. Just needs to be something to make it look like it's not a semicircle that went wrong. So, this is actually helping me a little bit to deal with it looking still very circular, unfortunately, but it's like they taunt me or something. Sometimes if I don't catch them, they'll pop when they dry. So we're just gonna keep following this train of thought. It does help a little. Probably wouldn't have done this on purpose, but it does help a wee bit. You may not even be able to see what I'm doing because I have you zoomed in a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. So I think we have enough paint off. We might give it one little spin, although now I'm kind of nervous to spin it and have this become more crazy looking. Let's see. Do we have enough paint off? Need to give it one little gentle spin for the sides. Gentle spin, just for the sides. All right, so you gotta let me know what you think. Um, I think that helped me because it, I think it, or maybe it's in my head, but it, it to me gives the eye a place to go other than to be like, oh look, a semicircle. <laughs> maybe that's just me, but um, there's nothing wrong with a semicircle. It's just obviously not the intended aesthetic here. Um, I kind of like how this looks weird right here. I'm tempted to wreck this part. Just a little bit. And I, I almost better not do much more of that. I just kind of wanted to break up that blobby part a little bit. I think I better stop. So I don't think this is what I intended, but I do really like it. I think the colors are great together. I love the pillow. I think it's beautiful. So I'm gonna bring you down for a close up. Let me know what you think. Do you like these? Do you wanna see more of them? Um, yeah, so bring you down shortly. All right, so here she is from a pie. I kinda of like it angled just like that too because turning it kind of sideways like that makes this part look a little less wild. But look at that pillow, it's so pretty. I'm gonna list it in the description box in case you like it, but in all the colors and all that jazz as usual. Um, but yeah, really beautiful colors. I love how subtle this is. And if I, so I'm sorry. So if I realize how subtle this part is, then I kind of see this as like, the composition with like some subtlety in the negative space and then that helps my brain part of me wishes i had come in here and wrecked this part a little bit more in the center but i'm just afraid i'm going to make it worse so you have to let me know what you think i tend to overwork things until i hate them so so yeah check out this shimmer here some of it's subtle um you see the lacing from the cell activator but you also see the interference um, violet cell activator and the interference green and in the color so some subtlety there even though I dunked most of my color in the pillow and then of course we have this side where we have a lot of excess cell activator and some kind of crazy cells that look like little pebbles but really pretty color within color peacock cells is what we usually call them and um, some of those lighter colors I used popped through in the cells. Kind of looks like if you're looking into like a pond and you see like colorful stones or something. And then we come to this side, a lot more subtlety because again, we had less cell activator on the palette knife. But look at the violet in the cell activator. A lot more of that is showing because we had quite a bit more on that side. And I think it's just really nice how it complements the color under resin that's really gonna pop. Really pretty. And then of course my makeshift things. So yeah, let me know what you think. I hope you like it. Let me know if you wanna see more of these with the color to go backgrounds. Um, I think it'd be kind of fun. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Let me know you're here. If you're new, please like, subscribe, say hello. Um, also, you notice here how the boom gel did a really good job. I don't know if you can tell, but that's the boom gel surrounding those cells with the cell activator. So just kind of a fun boom gel plug. Anyway, have a great day. Uh, thank you for all your support, and let me know what you think. Bye.